So, I just got done watching Rebel Moon Part 2. And I gotta say, I didn't do the review for Part 1 because um, it was an incomplete movie and I just wanted to wait. Now, this is one of two versions that's out. Uh, the second one coming out later, either 2024 or start of 2025. The R-rated cut, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the entirety of Rebel Moon. First of all, I want to say thank you, Zack Snyder, for constantly making content, even though it is criticized. Um, what is my opinion about Rebel Moon as a whole? I felt like the first half was a little slow at times, oddly enough. That's cool visuals. You get cool visuals, you get cool action set pieces. But to be fair, and I had seen that part a little bit ago. Um, so realistically, I, yeah. Um, it, I, the first part is, I, I do feel is a little weaker in, um, I felt like I wasn't as invested, but then the second act of the movie, so the last two hours of the movie, um, yeah, it. I still feel like it was a little bit slow, but the buildup was worth it because the last hour is phenomenal with its action. It is the best hour in the entire. It was the. It was a really good buildup. Um. I enjoyed everything about it. Um, and you know what? Uh, there's talks of a Rebel Moon 3. So I'm all for it. Uh, I will give the entirety of Rebel Moon a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. And I implore you to give it a watch. If you don't like it, that's fine. But don't be mean about it. Action's good, CGI's good. Characters are decent. So nothing nothing terrible.